We're seeing a lot of children who have lost um, primary caregivers or grandparents that were very important to them who have died from COVID. We are seeing kids really struggle to adjust as restrictions change, um, especially when it comes to school. So Licensed counselor Amanda Davis with Crittenden Children's Center says COVID's impact on our children's mental health is far reaching. It's magnified for those who are already struggling, but the trauma to those who had been thriving is also disturbing. We're seeing a lot of parents who are very alarmed. I have uh, personally had more colleagues uh, who are parents reach out for counseling resources for their kids than I have had in my entire 18 year career. The top three medical organizations report soaring rates of depression, anxiety, trauma, and loneliness among teens. Much of it they link to the loss of a normal routine. Davis says developing brains rely on some predictability. Losing that can be traumatic to a young person. I really worry that that anxiety that is kind of ever present in our society is changing the way that their brain builds. And I, I'm really worried for those kiddos that we're gonna see um, effects for the next few decades. Also concerning the number of suicides and attempted suicides and the lack of inpatient beds in acute cases. Davis urges parents to listen to your teen, let them know help is out there and they're not alone. I think that's really important to get those messages to teens that it's okay to be struggling right now. That's totally normal.